This is a patient who came in with nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. The patient got a CAT scan with intravenous and oral contrast. So as you look at the axial images, we can see pretty immediately the stomach is quite distended with the oral contrast. Further down, we can see lots of loops of small bowel that are also distended, filled with oral contrast, nothing in the large bowel in terms of oral contrast. As we go downwards, we're starting to see uh, some distended loops of small bowel with oral contrast and some loops of bowel that are relatively under distended. These small bowel loops, they're also filled with oral contrast. And as we sort of scroll through all this, um, you know, the findings are compatible with small bowel obstruction. Oftentimes for small bowel obstructions, uh, the cause is adhesions. In this case, if we look at the transition point, which is around the pelvis right over here, we can see that there's a filling defect uh, in this region of the small bowel right over there. And I think the oral contrast nicely helps us delineate that. If we look at the coronal images as well, we can see that there's a distended stomach, multiple distended loops of small bowel, some under distended loops of bowel more distally. And right at that transition, rather than it being adhesions, uh, which is the most common cause of small bowel obstruction, or a hernia, which is another common cause, in this case, there's actually a mass in that location. We can see it right over there, this fill-in defect. And so this ended up being resected, and this turned out to be an adenocarcinoma of the small bowel.